I'm Martine Dennis and these are the headlines this morning. Right, those are the latest headlines from BBC World News. Time now for the money news. Here's Sally and World Business Report. Now, here in the UK, the CBI's annual conference starts in London this morning and Britain's membership of the European Union is likely to be on the agenda. Now, business leaders believe that being part of the EU is overwhelmingly in Britain's interest. The CBI has examined the advantages and disadvantages of EU membership and it concluded that Britain should stay in but says urgent reforms are needed. Well, coming up uh, in uh, not very long from now at all, Charlie and Louise will be here with breakfast. That's six o'clock. Well, Jeremy Stretch is going to uh, uh, address that issue. First, Jeremy, Good we morning. need to start. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. We need to start with um, uh, the the idea that the Germans um, have have, have uh, forced the Americans into some sort of deal to say they're not going to spy on Angela Merkel or other top Germans anymore. This specifically, but it refers to this pact a forthcoming pact between Germany and the US as having uh, as really threatening that EU US trade mm -hmm. deal mm -hmm. uh, the biggest uh, freezer trade freezer yeah. isn't it that is being proposed indeed this uh, is now in jeopardy specifically on the uh, trial of Mohammed Morsi simultaneous trials of, of leaderships in in Egypt which is relatively unprecedented in itself and of course we've seen this uh, scenario doing all of this of course is that the kind of fear uh, is an apprehension in the region about that rapprochement between uh, Washington and Tehran. Indeed, that's the underlying message. So simple and straightforward then. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it will be very easily solved as ever. Now, Sadly Irish, not. Irish Times, very interesting story about German police seizing one billion euros worth of modern art. The, uh, the, the art dealer who was supposedly going to sell them did, uh, argued that they were destroyed in the bombings. Uh, they were, they were, the police were alerted by finding this man, Cornelius Gurlitt, the thousand stories. euros in cash, which they thought was <laughs> yeah. dodgy. More on that later. We'll get to that in just a moment. But Financial Times, interesting story. U.S. growth fears is across. Uh, ironic, isn't it, in a way that we're hearing of politicians saying we need to spend more. Clearly, you know, the Obama administration would like to inject more. Right. Let's move on now to the International New York Times, and this um, we were agreeing. Uh, educational system in, from smaller countries, then perhaps that piece of paper will have much more veracity, at least in the initial stages, than it perhaps would do for students from the UK or the US who will be studying. It talks about you know people who were found to, be, to become unemployed, or you know in that sort of situation where they just couldn't afford to go. Right. Moving on to the front <coughs> page of the International New York Times now, and. What a, appears to be a growing tendency. I think what we've seen, of course, over the, the last two or three years... Uh, there's a picture of a dog <laughs> on this article who's trained to smell ink. Indeed, dogs who can smell, smell the colour of money. Thank you very much thank indeed you. for going through the papers and thank you for being with us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>